So today we've got a very, very special interview. We've got Jamie Jones Buchanan, the professional rugby player, but also a Christian. Jamie, thanks so much for joining us. How are you doing? It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. I'm doing really well, thank you. It's interesting, Jamie. You're you're a rugby player. You know your sport is very masculine, macho, and you're a Christian at the same time. I mean, how do you, how do you deal with both of those? Give us an insight. Well, uh, being a Christian is is just integrated into my life. I think my identity is in in Jesus in Christ, and um, the fact that I'm a rugby player is just uh, a tent making job in in many respects. It's a job that I love doing. It's been the vehicle on which. I've lived the majority of my life, gone on most of my journeys, met most of my friends and uh, learned most of my lessons. And it's also the vehicle on which I became a Christian as well. So rugby league is, is massively important to me. When I became a Christian, my whole life was enhanced. You know, I'm, I'm not talking in a prosperity way. I just developed as a person and somebody once pointed out to me that my uh, playing career went through the roof as well. I became a better player. Um, I grew in the faith. I became a better husband, I believe, a better uh, dad. And uh, you know, knowing who the character, the person of Jesus Christ was, has, has helped me in my life no end, not just on the field but off it as well. So uh, it's very important to me in my faith, and uh, something I'm really privileged to be able to go out and tell other people about. <laughs> Jamie, just give us a little insight into the pressures that you go through. You're playing in front of thousands of fans in the stadium, millions of people around the world. The importance of having such a strong mental strength. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I think we believe it's a game where mental strength is is uh, is, is paramount, really. It's, and, it, and it's hard because, as any sport, you know, it's a results-based industry. So you've got to go out there and you've got to perform, you've got to win. Quite often you're playing in front of, uh, I don't know, 80,000 people at Wembley in the Challenge Cup final, being fortunate through that plenty of times, won a few, lost a few. Um, but the added extra in rugby league is because of the physical nature of the game, you might have you know, a couple of broken fingers, a broken jaw, um, a piece of your teeth going through your lip and in call, all kinds of physical pain. So there's, there's that side of it. And whilst you're, you're struggling physically, you might be out of breath, got a lot of fatigue in there, you've got a lot of big... Guys trying to knock your head off who are twice the size of you, um, or try to dominate you. <laughs> and uh, you've got to try and play well as well. You've still got to perform the skill, you've got to make the tackles, you've got to put the right passes on, make the right decisions. So it can be a cauldron. Uh, but any, like anything in life, it's quite relative. You prepare for that. And I think, as with more things in life, you know, preparation is key. Um, but it's interesting, you know, uh, because you're in that cauldron, we're tested to our limits at times. and. It's quite funny, uh, the pastor at our church once used a fantastic analogy. He said that human beings are a lot like tube toothpaste. They're not on the outside, we can look like whatever we want, but when we get squeezed, when we're under the pressure, whatever's inside will inevitably come out. And uh, there's nowhere more squeezy than in the pressure of, of playing a game of rugby league sometimes. And for me, that's tough. It, it can work for me and against me in that, now, being a Christian, you, I hope that and pray that whenever I get squeezed, it's a, a Christ-like Jamie that comes yeah. out and, and reacts in the right ways. Um, and I think for the most part it is, but I'm, I'm certainly nowhere near perfect and I have my moments, particularly in, in big games. And I'll tell you where I, I have the biggest difficulty. It's not when somebody smacks me and can deal with that. I can deal with the pain. <laughs> It's not when somebody gets something wrong or if I get something wrong. I think a lot of the time, and I'm not blaming referees, by the way, <laughs> it's when uh, injustices happen. So if you think about reading the Bible on a daily basis, you see a perfect judge in God and um, a perfect moral law or moral conduct, if you like. And uh, when human beings referee a game or make decisions and when players make decisions, we're inevitably human, so we get it wrong quite often. And injustices is what really gets me. Uh, the funny side as well, the flip side, is I make errors, um, technical errors, so I've been guilty lots of times of giving a high shot and knocking somebody's teeth nearly out. <laughs> and uh, I, was, I was giving a testimony at a church in Wigan, and he said, oh, I watched you a few weeks ago, and we'd just beaten Wigan, by the way, as well, I scored a try. But he said, I watched you a few weeks ago, and you, you took somebody's head off, you gave him a right clatter around head. 
And I said, I know, I don't get everything right, but I have been told it's better to give than receive, so that's how I broke <laughs> off. Uh, but it's a test. 